All right, welcome back. Uh, we just got Peach, and uh, I'm I'm gonna leave her out uh, for now, just because I have a feeling she's gonna be she's gonna be an end game character. So we're gonna be using her a lot uh, towards the end of the game as our healer. Uh, so for now, let's uh, go back and talk to uh, Frog Fucius. Was the name of the fucking person I couldn't think of. See, I'm telling you, something about uh, this game, like. I was saying in an in an earlier episode, I was just buying and selling shit, and I have I was like having to think really fucking hard, and I couldn't think of this dude's name. It's Frog Fuchsia. Of course, I know his name. Jeez. All right. I have the latest news, children. A large star has been sighted on Star Hill. Okay. The end. Why couldn't they all be like that? They're like, see what happened. See what happened was. I found the baby, and there was a pile of fluff, and it was so cute, and I raised it as my own, and the whole story, and blah, 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 blah. Like, okay, so so we have to do the thing. Okay, got it. That's kind of what happened uh, at my... Hold on. Just One of these takes you out for some reason, and then one of them takes you into where you actually need to go. Okay. That's kind of... Um, at my new job, I've been there one week now. And it's... Uh, what voice did he have? This is Star Hill. Wishes which are transformed at the Star Road fall from here. But some wishes that haven't uh, been granted yet are falling because Smithy destroyed the Star Road. Rog Fuchsius mentioned hearing about a star piece on this hill. Let's see if we can find it. This is actually easy. Wish I had some cricket jam. Can't wait to start a family. Hope my baby's cute. I was thinking it sucks when, like, you have to look at baby pictures and you're just like, oh yeah, it's uh, it's a very, very cute monkey you've got there. Oh, that's your baby. Oh, oops. Uh, well, unfortunate. Luckily, he's uh, too young to know that uh, he's ugly, or else he would probably hate himself, right? <laughs> I don't know. I sort of think that baby, like, even, even, I think that babies need a couple months before they become cute. I don't think that newborn babies are ever, like, intrinsically cute. I mean, yes, it's a beautiful new life and shit, but, like, in terms of cuteness, I don't think they're cute until, uh, for a couple of months, I guess. That's just my opinion. Alright, so basically all we, all we gotta do is walk around, touch these things. And, uh, oh, what I was going to say, though, is that, uh, hold on, let me heal. Um, uh, yeah, I've been on my job for, like, one week now. And, uh, basically, basically, there's, like, a couple of different, like, things to, I put exhaust elbows on, uh, near the catalytic converter on a motor right now. And, uh, I have to use the correct, the correct elbows for the correct model, and then there's different fittings, which are just little brass things with a hole in it that you like that you put inside of it or whatever that you, you you hand start it and then you put like a gun on it and it turns it to like attach it in place or whatever and uh people you know like they hand us a schedule saying okay these are the one these are the make these are the models that we're gonna make today but then it could change at any time without notice and like then what's the point like i can't i can't build it like some some uh, stations, uh, you can uh, build ahead. You can build up things that will, like, help you to where you don't have to start from step one. You know, like, if you can build it up, then you can, when the motor comes to you, you're already a couple steps started or whatever. Because you can, you can build a couple, you, you know, you can do some steps before the motor comes to your station. But not on this one. And uh, so then... So then it's like, oh, well, it doesn't matter then. Like, I can't really build it until until it comes to me, you know? And then the guy on Station 1, the guy who's starting it, the other day started coming up to me. He's like, okay, so I'm putting up the last V8, and then we're going to go to C -Egg, or V6 non-cats for a while, and then we're going to switch to the alphas or whatever. And I'm like, and I'm just like, okay, so, so build the motor that appears in front of me. Got it. You know, I didn't say that, but I'm just like, Come a long way, but your journey's not over yet. There are three more star pieces. So it's just weird how, like, everybody wants to, like, always be in the know. 
you know, typically people will just be like, well, I need to know what kind of motors we're going to build today. It's like, well, you're just going to build the one that's in front of you, no matter what model it is, so why can't you just fucking do that? Like, why do you have to... What do you have to know? I don't know. Same thing when I was on third shift. They'd be like, we had these things called... Um, uh, called bedrocks. We had tiger sharks and we had bedrocks were the two that we had. Everybody hated bedrocks and I didn't know why because it didn't affect me on my station. Uh, until there, at one point I did move to a station and I was there for about a month when it mattered. Um, but then so basically it's like okay so we either have we either have bedrock or we have tiger shark. Okay so in other words build the one that's in front of you. Okay got it. So it's like, you're either going to, you know, if you get the bedrocks, the ones you don't want, you could either build them, or you could complain about it, and then still have to build it. You're going to have to build it anyway, so I can't just build it. I don't know. In the middle of the ocean is a pirate ship. You'll find a, I mean, there's a... A pirate lived there. His name is Jonathan Jones. He isn't very nice. A star has fallen into the sea. The pirate, probably. I mean, that man, uh, Jonathan Jones, probably has it. He's nasty. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. So then this door is the... That's, that's, oh, yeah, I was already here. I'm just a customer. Don't tell me you want supplies. I know. Alright, um, I'm trying to think, I don't think I want any of these, um, I did actually, <laughs> I bought, I completely stocked the fuck up on mid mushrooms, I'm just like, I had the coins and they're only 20 apiece, so, uh, probably have too many now, but, uh, and then I didn't buy that many maple syrups, just cause I figured we wouldn't, uh, be using that many. Thank you, very much. But, oh well. There's nothing of interest in here, don't bother looking inside. You may not enter here. This is a restricted area. It is actually nice how they had uh, the two guys say different things. Oh, in. Uh, this is the inn. You may stay for free. Uh, I'm trying to think. Okay. I don't remember if... Uh, Oh, this is kind of funny. Creeper. <laughs> Guys, just watching you sleep. Ugh. I'm trying to... Th it I don't remember if you have to stay twice to activate a thing, or if that's... I don't know. I, I'm probably getting my RPGs mixed up. There's a... Uh, a game or two where staying at the inn, like, twice stays, uh, does something. Okay, it wasn't there. They keep spinning and spinning. I do like how they actually acknowledge that that's a fucking weird thing that they do. Because you might have noticed, they're just like, why are there spinning mushrooms and spinning stars? If you want to enter the ocean, jump into the whirlpools. You'll find the village elder in his house. He is the most respected person here. You're collecting stars, right? Only... Three more to go. Now, how would you know that I was collecting stars and also how many I have and how many are left? Hmm. Something's a little suspicious about this town. Finally, it took you long enough. I am the elder of this village. I got to my exalted station in life by pleasing my superiors, which is something I do well, if you know what I'm saying. Well, I ain't gonna, uh, I ain't gonna judge. You know, you do what you gotta do. A star has fallen into the ocean. I need it for a certain purpose. You must find it for moi. I, mu I must find it for you? Why would I need to find it for you, man? Hello there, you're Mario, right? Do you remember me? We met at Tadpole Pond, but I was still a tadpole. I've graduated from Frog Fuchsia's school, and now I'm searching for the meaning of life. Is it in this book? It's been so quiet around here. It's almost eerie. Is something going on? It probably doesn't concern me, but if you have any frog coins, I've got some neat items to sell. 
All right. Hmm. Cut Tiffy in half. Um. Well, I mean, technically, this one might uh, it might help with uh, not needing to go back to save points. Um. Uh, no. I might pick up some of those later. If I need to grind, I mean, basically the EXP booster is basically just uh, cutting down on busy work. So, I mean, I'm not going to consider that like, uh, like spoiling the not the self-imposed thing. And I did take the uh, the fearless uh, pin off. I had a, I put the zoom shoes on Malo. I forget if I mentioned, but I put the zoom shoes on Malo just so he would get a first attack on the Thunderbolt when I was grinding. But that's why he got uh, feared. That's why he had got fear in the battle. Been a while since people came around here. Okay. Hmm. So his freshen up is just um, able juice on everybody, right? So why is it? There's a huge uh, difference in cost. Golly. Okay, so. Okay, I think that one is. Uh, that one's better for Bowser. Masher is still better than Super Hammer. I already have uh, one of those. Okay, so then we'll just go... Ba boom like that. 11. Oh, you don't have a... Wait, so it has the weapon for Bowser, but then not the upgraded thingy? Wait, are you sure? He doesn't have the Sailor Shell or whatever? Pants, shirt, cape, not a control. Oh, I guess not. I, I, I don't think I ever realized that. Okay. Okay, it's not a huge uh, increase, and I know we just got these a little while ago. But. But uh, it's better than nothing, and we're going to need all the uh, defense we can get. Okay. Since you shopped here, I'll tell you something interesting. The ship sank into the Brinery Sea because a giant squid attacked it. Some people went to survey it, but they never came back. That is not helpful at all, so... Alright, let's drop a save. Now we're at the sea. It doesn't look like a sea. It looks like a weird, creepy cave. Not sure why they call it. Just call it sea. Okay. I actually don't remember which way I'm supposed to go. Pretty sure this way takes me back out, right? Back to the world map, right? Okay. Oh wait, that, that's where we landed. That's exactly where we landed. Okay. Jeez. Okay, sense of direction, not so great. Oh, I fucking love this part. Oops. I'll do that in a minute. Uh. Okay, you can actually... It's gonna be a star in there, but... Uh... Okay, there's no other door to go, so there is a path that you uh, that you can follow. You can get a whole bunch of these guys if you're good. Let's see how we do. I'm pretty sure if you're fast, you can actually get them all. Uh, uh. Oh, I see. Not quite, but I mean, I almost. I'm happy with all of them but one. All right, magic. Magic. Oh man, there's two more? Okay, I don't think I would have been able to get two more. Alright. Okay. No, oh, dare this is a cave right there. Okay, Jeepers. Oh man. But anyway, yeah, I, I just thought I was thought. Is there a point to what I was saying earlier? It's it's just weird to me. Like I just have a different kind of way of thinking of stuff. Aw oh, damn. Get rid of a, uh, I was gonna, um, actually use a flower tab just so I had a space to get something, but I forgot. Oh, I got the, I got the, uh, is it a flower tab or a flower jar? I did stay at the suite three times and I got, uh, uh, a reward. It was either a flower tab or a flower jar, I don't remember, but I had the coins. I just didn't want to, uh, have my coins be at 9.99 and then have shit to sell. And then to just have it kind of go to waste. So I was, so I knew that if you stay at the inn and marry more a bunch of times, you get uh, rewarded. There's a page from the travel log. Let's take a look at it. I mean, it does look boring, but we gotta take a look at it anyway. 
We're done for. A giant squid just got a hold of the ship. The last, or the ship's going down fast. Got all the weird J crates. Kind of weird. We managed to trap the giant squid in the treasure uh, cellar. The treasure will sink with the ship, but so it goes. How did you manage to trap a giant squid in the, like, how did you get it to go there? If it grabbed the ship and it's pulling it down, then how did you be like, hey, but before you, uh, before you sink the ship, I know you grabbed the ship, but could you, uh, could you, could, could you come down here? We got something to show you down in the treasure cellar. <laughs> I've covered the secret of the six hints, of course. Since they're provided by different people, they'll be pretty tough to solve. Maybe impossible. We'll see about that. I don't want to fight these guys, by the way. Free flower. I'll take it. And then a little tricky-dicky jump here. That's actually not that hard. Just the perspective might mess with you a little bit. It looks like it's stacked on top, but then it's... But then... The fact that there's a space right there. I almost ran into that guy. Just, like, gives you the hint that it's... You'd have to have good spatial recognition or whatever. I mean, not good, but... You can actually sneak in here without uh, fighting the dudes. Alright, see how we do on these. First one's easy. Memo left by Magellan. There's an S in the word. Hmm, the only bad part about this is that uh, once you do it one time, basically like the first time you do this, it's really, f I mean, maybe not for everybody, but it's pretty hard to figure out the fucking word the first time. Oh shit, that probably was... That's probably not good. I probably fucked it up. Uh, once you do it the first time, you basically will never forget this word uh, for your entire life. Damn it, I did the same thing. I thought it actually counted as close. Oh shit, that... That's not good either, I don't think. Yeah, I missed the first one. I'm usually pretty good at this one. All right, let's try again. Come on. Uh, maybe. Nope. There we go. There we go. And this one has to be like a little bit closer because it doesn't bounce as much. That might be good. There we go. Woohoo! Memo left my Magellan again. It's found on the bed of the ocean. See, they said it was left by different people, but it says this was left by Magellan, too. Or Med whatever his name is. Uh. Three-dimensional maze. Press X if you give up. I actually don't have this memorized. Uh, how to do it. The first part, the first step is uh, getting to that second level right there. thought it was. Okay, so now I'm here. Okay, so that's actually the trick. Once you're there, then, uh... Oh, shit. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay, so basically, a little hole just to show you that you're there. Okay, so you have to go this way, and then double back this way. Oh shit, I thought I was gonna pop out of the thing. Oh, I think I fell. Oh man, this is exciting to watch, isn't it? Hmm. Oh man, okay. Oh golly. You can tell it's riveting when I become self depreciating. I don't know. It's something I notice I don't do that much, which is good. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of uh, when LPs do it. I mean, it's okay, I suppose, but, you know, as long as they don't overdo it, it's fine. Because, again, like, I understand the concept of, like, you're not 100% paying attention to everything you fucking say. Okay. Oh, man. Okay, this is not the right way. I'm right. I'm right. Yeah, I was about to say I'm right at that damn door. Okay. Let's 
So... Now am I... Hmm. Oh, I fucked it up. I was up there, man. I was up there, man. I was so close. I could taste it. Oh, come on. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to do this. Oh, uh, it's almost time to end the episode. Might as well just stop the timer now, because otherwise it's going to buzz at me when I'm fucking trying to concentrate. I'm not even really concentrating, I'm just mashing the button and, like, mashing directions. There we go. You don't fuck it up this time, Thomas. Come on. Okay, so from here, you just have to go this way. Eh. Try to be systematic. Uh, I think we did it. Are we there? Uh, aha, we did it. There, I do remember that, um, real syrup, sweet. I do remember that, uh, oh, it is a different person. To Gamma, it has two vowels. That one... That one spot where I, I said I think I got it, like that's the that's sort of like the magic spot where it's like once you hit that you're pretty much you're pretty much uh, done. You just gotta mash the button to finish it. Alright, let me just go down here and get this guy. And this sucks. I'm pretty sure you have to fight this guy. You have to fight him and then he comes back to life. The trick though is to see if you can only fight him once. Should be able to thunderbolt him. Uh, the dry bones you actually have to use a magic attack on. They have unlimited uh, physical uh, uh, HP. Like you can't. If they, it, it'll say it does damage, but it, but it won't uh, hurt them. All right. Anyway, I know I have to heal Mario, but we need uh, we need to do this to kill some guys. Oh shit! Didn't kill those guys. All right. Oh, sweet. Lucky. It's kind of weird how it says lucky, but then most of the time you end up losing. Oh, no. Not silence on Bowser. Oh, my gosh. He's like my main magic user, man. Alright, this time we'll, uh, we'll heal. Oh, but then what sucks is that you gotta go in quick and grab the... Uh, hit the question block and then run back out before he comes back to life. Or the dry bone stands up, then you have to do another fight. I'm pretty sure if you're quick, you only have to... Because you have to fight it once to, like, gain access to it. And this will be 54 experience if I get it. Oh, sweet. ba bam That's a lot of fucking experience, too. And magic. And magic. Okay, come on. Okay, I guess you do have to fight him twice. I remember only having to fight him once at one point. Maybe I did something different, or I don't fucking know. Oh, which one, Bowser? Chicken shit. It does seem kind of weird that Bowser is capable of uh, becoming fearful. Y you would think that, like, of all the characters, he would have, like... Like, they, I mean, they could have just made it where he just, he just can't become fearful because, I don't know. I guess they've done enough other stuff with his character that I guess maybe it's possible. I mean, technically, I guess anybody can become fearful of anything, you know. I guess if you're, no matter if you're like a, a tough guy or a badass or whatever, you still could have like your mind altered in some way where you're fearful. Holy shit, if I get the, like, it ain't, it probably, there's no way I'm gonna be able to do this twice in a row, it'd be cool though. Holy shit, dude! Do you see that fucking shit? I just gained 100 and uh, 108 experience. Holy balls. And Gino Whirl. And magic! Man, that's a lot of experience. How much do I need now? Okay, so that was about, that was almost half a level on those two guys. In those two fights, holy shit. Hey, it's good to see you. Okay, this is the same guy as before, right? Okay. I'll give you a hint. The password's got something to do with the C. 
Even if you don't get through all six ob uh, the obstacles, you can try to deduce your way through. Good luck! Okay, it's time to end the episode, and we'll finish off this place, and hopefully we'll finish it. We, we might not. It might take two more episodes. But, uh, but yeah, we'll do the thing, and we'll see you in the next one. Have a good one. Bye.